We did have the big Arctic blast, but overall, mild winter temperatures have been recorded this winter in Portland, thanks to El Nino. Mm -hmm, but changing water temperatures could change the way we experience next winter. Going 6 meteorologist Josh Cozart explains the fading El Nino conditions. This year's winter weather will look completely different come next year. That's because of the change in sea surface temperatures. We're talking about the transition from El Nino to La Nina. Right now, El Nino is in place. That's where equatorial sea surface temperatures are above average. That's the driving factor in Portland's warmer weather pattern over the last few months. You'll recall last year's whopper of a February snowstorm fell during a La Nina year. That's when sea surface temperatures were below average, making for a cooler and wetter winter. From April to June, we're predicting an inso neutral period. That's when everything's average, both Pacific water temperatures and the Pacific Northwest. Now, during the warmer summer months is when La Nina is expected to take shape again over the Pacific. But the cooler and wetter weather pattern isn't expected to take shape until December. Yeah, what I like about those is that you dumb it down for yeah. <laughs> People like me. No, that's yes. a, gr yeah. a, a great yes. explanation. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you realize how critical ocean temperature mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. to our weather, right? It, it really is the driving force of everything that moves overhead, yeah. Yeah. no matter what period we're in. Mm, very interesting. Okay, yeah. so what are we looking